Hello everyone and welcome to a rather unique video I've got for you today. Earlier today, Ankama released a short video clip, the one that I played right here at the beginning, showing a new Dofus project they've been working on over the last year, and it sounds like it's a couple years out still. But it was rather interesting to see that. I've watched it a couple times, got some interesting thoughts on it, and I thought, hey, let's put together a reaction type video where we go through it together. I've created a slower version of it. I know it goes by pretty quick there, and we're gonna just eke our way through it. We'll discuss it, talk about what we see, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. We'll also go over some of the highlights that Nkama posted on the actual Dofus website about it. And yeah, so I thought it would be fun just to make a video and discuss this with you guys and give you my thoughts on this Dofus Unity, as they're calling it. If you could do me one huge favor and just smack that like button to show your support, it would greatly help me out. Also, if you're new here and you like to stay up to date on Dofus content, as well as Dofus PVM tips, guides, and gameplay, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you know exactly when my videos go live. All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just go through this and kind of pick out some things that I found rather interesting. All right, right from the beginning, it is easy to tell this game looks totally different than what we're used to when it comes to Dofus. Now, I will point out here at the bottom, it does say work in progress, does not represent the final look of the game. It states that through the whole thing. So from a graphic standpoint, there's certain areas that look really cool, certain areas definitely look kind of rough. So I'm sure that there is still a lot of work to do on that. But I got to admit, it still looks beautiful. It's got those greens and yellows in there that I feel like Dofus is known for. The colors pop really good. But it starts out with the IOP, excellent choice, just running through there. And it's cool too how the, the camera kind of comes panning in. I don't know if that's something you'll be able to do in the game, but it's kind of cool to know that you could zoom out to see more area and then you can zoom in. Areas over here, I'm assuming this is wheat that you could harvest. I'm sure these trees for the lumberjack can be cut down. I do like how you can see some of the creatures just, you know, hobbling around. There's a gobble over here, it looks like. And that might actually be a, a person riding a gobble. I know that happens a couple times. Here you can see some more gobbles in the background. Most people definitely know Dofus when they think of gobbles. Got some up here in the front, he's panting. I don't know if that means there's gonna be like a, a sprint bar, like you can only sprint for so long before you gotta walk for a little bit. I don't know, but that's interesting that they do that. Here obviously is somebody with a quest. That's pretty typical for a Dofus thing, but it definitely looks more modern. It definitely looks like a more modern exclamation mark than what we see. Uh, the gobbles just kind of hanging out in the background. Now this is something I found kind of interesting. I wonder if this is a, a look at what the new Haven bag might look like. The only reason I say that is because later you'll see this IOP using what looks like this sword and that shield, but in here he's not carrying them. They're just sitting off to the sides. Now I also noticed they seem much larger than when he's holding them as well. I mean, look at that, it's bigger than he is. So maybe it's just decoration, I don't know. But I know one thing I've often said I think would be a cool thing to have is haven bags that you can not just decorate. I know they got ways that you can decorate them now, but if you could earn things in the game, like from boss fights and things like that, and then decorate using those, like little trophies and things like that. Looks like you might be able to go upstairs here. So it may be just a building. I don't notice a door up here. Of course, it could be a basement level. So who knows? It may be a haven bag, may just be a random building, but I thought that looked interesting. All right, and here we go on the outside. See, he's got that shield now, and this is where they're showing off like the different things he's wearing. It doesn't look like he's actually holding that sword. See how it's kind of like floating in front of his hand? So it is definitely still very early uh, what they're showing here, but I, I see what they're going for, and that's pretty cool. And then it shows him on a mount. I think the Drago turkeys have always looked rather goofy, and they look even more goofy in 3D, if you ask me. <laughs> Here's another pan in, but it looks like he's talking to this NPC. So we got some text popping up here. I like how we got like the, that looks like the Royal Sunflower off to the side here. Got some gobbles, another guy back there. Pans in, talking to the NPC. Here's where he's responding. I do feel like he runs kind of funny. I imagine that might be that sprint move that he was using. Maybe when you sprint, you eventually get tired 
and so you can only sprint so far. I don't know. But yeah, he is running kind of interesting. And then it looks like he's going to go turn in a quest over there. This looks fun. A little gobble pulling the cart there. I do like the idea of some of these different animations and stuff they're going to be able to do just to make the environment feel very alive. That's one thing I feel like Dofus does struggle with sometimes is just the environment feeling alive with just the things that are on the map, if that makes sense. So if they can find a way to make that happen, that would be pretty cool. Now again, this is not a Dofus replacement. Dofus 2.0 as a 2D game is not going anywhere. I briefly combed over that a moment ago, and we'll actually go over that a little more detail in the section where we talk about what Ankama has planned for this game and Dofus, but I just thought I'd throw it out there that this is not meant to replace Dofus 2. But here we get a look at the character stats page. I notice this Team 1, Team 2, Team 3. I know that right now in Dofus, one of my favorite things is running my own team, so I don't know if they're going to make a way for you to run multiple accounts at once or multiple characters on a single account. But we got some scrolls here, Galeno, Dofus. So it's just kind of a, a brief overlook of what the characters, they got a, a color wheel now, so you can just run around on the wheel, finding the color, the exact color you're looking for there. And I wonder since it shows these things down here, if these are for decorations or if you can actually change like the colors of your gear. All right, and this looks like the new spell chart. This is where you're gonna see your different spells. So you got your water, fire, I assume this is earth and air is what we got going on there, but you got your different ones. And I'm kind of curious to see how this works. Cause like this one, they've unlocked this one and this one, this one, they did the two next to each other. So it'd be interesting to see how the unlock process goes with the spells here. But yeah, you got over here, you got your, your range, your AP cost and details of it. So that, that's really nice the way it looks. This character just leveled a couple times. And now we get to start seeing some of the combat they got going on. On the left-hand side, we see the characters and the enemies. And it's interesting here because it almost looks like there's three royal gobbles. Now, again, this may be just for testing. It doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be a room with three bosses in it. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. That's kind of an interesting thing. So you got your health, your AP, your MP right here, your character's ID in the left. Here's your spells on the right. So the small number there is probably the AP cost for each of the spells. Here's your melee and your different spells around it. I'm also interested in the fact that it's the way that's set up in the corner down there, it almost seems like it's compatible for like a touch screen. So like if you were holding a phone, your thumb would be down there and you could just tap what it is that you wanna do. On the left-hand side, you'll notice there's also these three dots, and typically that's something that you would tap to bring up a menu, like on YouTube or anything like that. I got a feeling that maybe this will be optimized also for touch-type devices. So if this is a game you could play both on a touch device and a computer, that would be a nice change. The biggest reason I don't play Dofus Touch is because it's not linked to my actual Dofus accounts. So I feel like I'm progressing on two separate games. But if there was one game that you could do both, on your tablet or phone and on your computer, that would be nice. I would like that. All right, as we move along, you can see where the damage was done. You got some animations here. Now, this is something I was also kind of curious about. One thing I like about Dofus, and again, this is not a replacement for Dofus 2.0, but one thing I like about Dofus is the fact that it's turn-based and it's like a chessboard. You know, you move so many squares and stuff. And up until this point, you hadn't really seen a whole lot that shows that there's like a grid to it, like Dofus. And I'm guessing they just have it turned off. But if you'll notice, he selected a square and he's running across to that square and loses three MP. So it's definitely, I mean, you got move points. So those move points have to designate distance in some way. And the fact that you can see that, and I like the way it kind of shows up here. Looks like we got the, the famished sunflower that they're fighting here. So this may be another dungeon. Maybe these little fenced in areas are like the way you progress through the different rooms of a dungeon now. Here's where we get to see some of the attacks. You can see your range, areas that you can't hit, your damage and all that kind of stuff there. It definitely looks like Dofus in the mechanics of it all. Now, again, the, the characters do look very rough. In fact, I feel like almost like the enemies have more character to them than the actual characters do so far. But that's probably because they're still working on all this. But I do notice that that's not exactly the highest quality of graphics, but that's pretty cool. The, the explosion that comes in here, one thing that we'll talk about later, they talked about trying to come up with more dynamic and punchy type spells. And you know, that's pretty cool. They, they bring it in off the screen and it definitely looks pretty flashy. That giant arrow splashes down and you know, this is still very early build, so I'm sure they're gonna make that even bigger and flashier as time progresses, but 
This is pretty cool too. You get to see the Royal Gobble come busting out of some crates. I kind of like that. Again, that map had three on them, so I don't know if a whole bunch of them charge out. I like this. I like the way the distance squares suddenly come folding out like that. It's real slick. I like that. These are two IOPs on their mounts, and I also noticed that they're holding their sword differently now. I don't know if that's because they're in like a different stance, or if it's maybe because they're on the mount. Maybe that's why they're not holding them up, but they're holding them down. But it did make me wonder if there's different ways that you can use a weapon. But I love all the animals, you, all the creatures you can still see out there and about in the back. Again, just that's like a normal attack there, shooting an arrow across, casting another spell. You can see you got to have line of sight for that. You can't shoot on the other side there. In fact, you can even roll briefly there. You can see this. This must be their mouse moving off the side of the screen. Watch this little red thing <laughs> go shooting off to the side. All right, and then here's something that was rather unexpected here at the very end is it pans into an actual office and you see a controller. And it's not just any controller, it's also an Xbox controller. And those of you who are familiar with the fact that Microsoft has their Game Pass, which allows you to play your games on your phones, on your computer, and even on your Xbox One, you can play it anywhere. Makes me wonder if this will have that same possibility too. How many people would love to, if you don't already, would love to play Dofus on your big screen TV while sitting on your couch? But that could be pretty cool. If this game is optimized to be used with a controller, that would be really cool. I was nervous when I first saw the controller because my first thought was, oh no, I can't run multiple accounts if I play this game. But then I got to thinking about it, it's pretty easy if all the characters are built onto a single account and you can just tap like the R1 button to scroll between your characters, I think that would work just fine. My thought would be you'd have one character that's probably on the screen at all times and then the other characters show up in the fight itself. I don't know if maybe that's how it'll work or not, but uh, but yeah, that was definitely unexpected when they showed the controller here at the end. So yeah, that's the video. Thought that'd be pretty cool just to kind of walk through there point out things that I found interesting about that. All right, I'm just gonna let that kind of repeat in the background. I'm gonna talk about just a couple of things they mentioned in the Uncommon Notes that were very interesting. So first of all, this is a game that they're working on. It's not called Dofus 3.0. They're referring to it as Dofus Unity right now. They did say that's just their internal name. They don't necessarily have plans to make that the official name, but who knows. But they said this is not Dofus 3.0. It's going to have its own quest, its own equipment, its own progression system and everything. It's gonna be a standalone game all by itself. They also pointed out that this game is still a few years out. My guess is at least two to three years probably. And they mentioned that the graphics and stuff are also still a work in progress. Obviously we pointed out a few things that we spotted like where they're not really holding the sword and the graphics aren't exactly what we would be expecting yet. But it's cool to see they've got a foundation that they're building on it. It's pretty cool to see that. Uh, some possible game features they're looking to maybe implement in this is maybe a free looking camera as we see like right there where we zoom in could be a really neat feature to be able to pan around your view an open environment we definitely get to see that they got an open environment the ability to control multiple characters which again i was very happy to hear that especially after seeing the controller i thought it'd be one character per person not that that's a bad thing but you know i like to play multiple characters uh, they're shooting for more dynamic and punchy combat. And then obviously the big thing is the 3D attribute. You know, it's going to be a 3D dofu. So it could be really awesome. I know we're seeing it really rough at the moment, but that could look really cool. There's also one really big thing to point out, and it also applies to the dofus that we play right now, dofus 2.0. And that is the fact that it's going to be moving away from Flash and into the Unity software. Now, I'm not a big programmer. I don't know a whole lot about it, but from what I understand, they're basically hitting the roof of what Flash is capable of. And Flash is really good for making smaller, I think I've even heard web-based type games is typically what a Flash software would be used for. But as this game's continued to grow and get bigger, we've all felt it where it's like, we might have some really impressive computers, but we're still lagging, we're still dropping, we're getting disconnected. It's just optimized very well. Maybe we're skipping frames and things, but the Unity software from what I understand will allow them to be able to run a game this big a lot smoother. Now I have no idea what all the specifications are and how that's going to work. I do know they said that it's going to be able to utilize your GPU now on your computer, which will give it some extra oomph that way. And I guess it'll even utilize a single 
core on your computer instead of, I guess maybe now it's trying to utilize all the cores. So depending on how many cores you got, it could really create some bottlenecks there if you run a computer with a low number of cores on it. But I don't know. If anybody's got some insight of why this will be so much better on Unity than Flash and you want to leave that in the comments for us to know, that would be awesome. But they did say that Dofus 2.0 is going to be ported over to Unity and that the game will still be exactly the same. The only thing that we will notice is the fact that it runs smoother and runs better. But the graphics, the characters, everything's going to be exactly the same as what we use right now on Flash. So that was pretty cool to know. And this game, I believe, is being built up from the ground in Unity as well. So my guess is they're going to be able to do some really cool stuff with this as they move forward. All right, well, that's everything I got for this video. I know it's a little different. It's just a cool chat type video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna leave the link for the actual post that Dofu said. If you wanna go over there and read the actual log where he details exactly what all the changes are and what's gonna happen and stuff, I'll leave that in the link in the description. But yeah, I'm excited for this. I, I am definitely still going to be playing Dofus and this is still a few years out. So this isn't even an option to play for who knows how long. I don't know if they'll do an early beta type thing for this for a while. I know some MMOs will open up a big beta server for people to start playing the game so they can start getting some feedback. If they do, I will be sure to try to get in on that and be able to bring you guys content and gameplay on that. And as long as I'm allowed to, and try to share that information with you as well. But that would be pretty cool if that would work out. But anyways, if you haven't already and you wanna smack that like button for me, it would really help me out. Also, if you're new here and you like Dofu's PVM tips, guides, and gameplay, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know exactly when my videos go live. All right, until next time, you all be safe out there and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>